Welcome to Enterprise Manager demo series. In today's demo, I will show you how to perform advanced installation of Enterprise Manager. First, download the required software binaries from the OTN page for your respective platform. Make sure you go through the hardware and software requirements from the install guide available on OTN page. Some of the key facts about this release are you can perform fresh install of Enterprise Manager 13.2 or you can upgrade your existing Enterprise Manager 12C to 13.2 version. The database version that is supported is 12.102 and the weblogic version that is shipped with the product is 12.103 with JDK 1.7 update 111. We have also simplified the software binary extraction and we have integrated the BA publisher and JVMD with this release. Now let's look into the demo. For this demo, I have pre-configured the 12.02 database to host the EM repository. I have also downloaded the software binary from the OTN page and staged in this location. To invoke the installer, execute the binary file. The first screen in the installer is the My Oracle Support Details screen where you can enter the email ID and you can provide the My Oracle Support password and you can click on Next. The next screen in the installer is the software updates. Enter the My Oracle Support username and password and click on search for updates. The installer will search for updates and currently for this release there are no software updates available. So click on continue and click on next. The next screen is the prerequisite checks screen where we run number of prerequisite checks to make sure the host where you are installing the Enterprise Manager 13.2 meets the requirement or not. The status of the prereq can be either success, warning or failure. If the prereq checks are showing in warning or failure, make sure you investigate those problem, fix the issue and you can come here and you can click on rerun. Click on next. The next screen is the install type. We have two different types of install. One is simple and the other is advanced. As the name suggests it is simple, quick and it is used for monitoring few targets. Also in simple install, you cannot customize the ports or the passwords where the administrator does not worry about the granular control of the enterprise manager install. And the advanced option, you can customize your ports, you can have different passwords for different accounts. For this demo, we'll go with the advanced option. Click on next. The next screen is the install detail screen where you can provide the middleware home location where your weblogic will be deployed and provide the agent based location where the agent software will be deployed and the host name where we pre-populate the host name. Validate all these inputs and click on next. The next screen is the plugin selection screen. By default, we deploy all these five plugins. Also, we show the other plugins which are shipped with this product. According to the need, you can select the additional plugins and those plugins will get deployed as part of the EM install. For this demo, we'll go with the default plugins. Click on next. The next screen is the weblogic configuration detail screen where you can enter the weblogic password, the node manager password and you can provide the instance home location where the domain will be created. After entering the details, click on next. The next screen is the database connection detail screen where you can enter the database hostname, your port, SID and the sys password. We have the deployment choice here. We have three deployment size, one is small, medium and large. All this deployment size depends upon the number of targets that will be monitored once the install is completed. And based on the deployment size, the required parameters will be set inside the EM repository. For this demo, we'll go with the medium sized deployment. Click on next. The installer is currently validating the prereq checks and is showing the recommended character set. And the in installer is again running the prereq and is showing the prereq name and the recommended value. Verify the prereq and the recommended value and click on OK. The next screen is the configuration detail screen where you can enter the sysman password, the agent registration password and you can verify the management table space and you can click on next. The next screen is the shared location detail screen 
where you can enter the software library location where all your software entities will be stored. And the next, lo next location is the config volume and cluster volume for your BA publisher. Make sure you don't delete this config and cluster volume directory once the install is completed because BA publisher use this directory for its functioning. The next is the enable BA publisher option. By default, we check this option so that once the install is completed, as part of the OMS startup, your BA publisher will also get enabled and it gets started. Click on next. Currently, the installer validated the port details for each of this component. Validate the ports and click on next. The next screen is the final screen, review screen, where you can review all the inputs provided. And once the review is completed, you can click on install. Currently, the install has started. At the end of install, you'll be asked to execute the root.sh script. As a root user, log into the server and execute the root.sh script to complete the installation. This is the end of demo. Thank you for watching.